To be quite honest, if I broke up with my current partner, I am quite confident that I would stay single for the rest of my life. And no, this is not a compliment to my partner. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, in today's video I am gonna create this clean girl makeup look and I'm gonna use only e.l.f. products. But before we get started, please help me <clears throat> please help me to reach my goal to get monetized before the end of the year so I don't have to go back to work and I can stay home with the baby and keep making these videos. If you could do that to me, it would mean the world to me. So thank you so much in advance. And yeah, let's just go to the video. Okay. Everybody else is having this nice tray and I'm using a chopping board, but... Okay, so I have already prepped my skin. So we are diving straight into the makeup. So I wasn't sure which primer I would use so I actually I think I'm gonna use both because I think that this is a little bit too slippery so the makeup will glide off I'm not sure this is a really really nice but it's consist consistency I'm just gonna try this first and then if I need I'm gonna put the other one too but yeah me and my partner decided on getting married in 2026 so in a little bit less than two years the reason why we chose to do that is that because we are thinking of moving because our apartment is so small. So that's next year's project to try to find a new home and move. So having a wedding on top of that is a little bit too much. Okay, I think the putty primer is enough. Yes. And by the way, this is luminous putty primer. And it is luminous. So yeah. We are getting married and for this, uh, for the base, I'm using this Hello Glow, no Halo Glow, Halo Glow liquid filter. I didn't like it when I tried it the first time, but it's starting to grow on me. I just, I hate this kind of applicator. Why isn't it in a pump or a squeezy bottle? I just, this is, this seems so unhygienic and not great. In my understanding, clean gel makeup is different from no makeup makeup in that way that in clean girl makeup you can show that you are wearing makeup but you just have to look clean and in no makeup makeup you have to look like you don't have any makeup am i correct so thinking about marriage made me also think about relationships in general and these are just my opinions about the matter but to be quite honest if I broke up with my current partner, I am quite confident that I would stay single for the rest of my life. And no, this is not a compliment to my partner. I'm gonna see if this foundation, I'm not sure if it's a foundation, but I'm gonna see if this is buildable. Because I do have some areas that I wanna put more coverage. So yes, I would most likely stay single and yes, these are just my opinions and my experiences. So if you don't have these, then good for you. I was talking to my sister about this. It seems like it is buildable. So I was talking to my sister about these things. She's married and she also felt like if her husband died or they broke up, she wouldn't start dating again ever. And the reason for that is well, I'm not sure about her, but for for me, the reasons are dating. <laughs> one thing that dating is so annoying. So like it's just it takes so much time and then you just keep repeating the same questions and answers with every single person until you find the one that you want to spend time with more. And then you do that for a few years, maybe, and then you're going to break up anyway, and then you just have to start again. So. So that's the one thing I'm gonna put this. This is 16 hour camo concealer corrector. Oh no, wait, that was in France. So I don't like this. This just, 
I have a problem in my under eye area that it just looks cakey all the time so this is just too thick so I'm just gonna apply a little bit again to the places I want more coverage. So what I noticed with men and I feel like I have to emphasize that not all men some men and again I have to make clear that I'm not talking about my current partner I'm talking the men that I have experiences beforehand and so on so men today they want to be the princesses but they don't want to do the princesses jobs as maintaining the house or looking after the kids but they want to have the flowers and pampering and everything but they just don't give it back so in my experience I just this is such a full coverage I wish I had the skin for it because look at that that's so cool so yeah they want the princess treatment but they just want you to do all of the other stuff like maintaining the car and maintaining the house looking after the kids in my opinion if your partner doesn't provide anything to you then I don't see the point because I'm gonna let this sit and air dry because I learned I just learned that you're not supposed to put anything on top of it until it's air dried because it's gonna look cakey so in the meanwhile I'm gonna do contouring or bronzing and then blush and also eyebrows this elf brow lift is amazing it's so good the formula is so nice and it does a great job like i thought that nyx brow glue was good but this is just so amazing like look at that that's that's crazy good so i am with my current partner because i love him that's the reason why i moved him but to be honest that that is not good enough reason for me to start dating again if we are gonna break up because this is also great because I'm happy alone and quite honestly I am not comfortable cleaning after a grown man and also cleaning after me and my kid and my dogs so if a man doesn't really really bring like a great value to the relationship I just don't want it um, because this is a clean girl makeup I am going to use mostly cream products so it's gonna look glowy and not cakey just gonna contour a little bit the nose so before my current partner I I was seeing this guy that he didn't have a driver's license I think it was suspended and he didn't have a car and he lived with his parents which is okay because housing is super expensive so this is the blush I don't necessarily think this is my color but I'm gonna use it anyway and then I'm gonna smile so I can see the apple of my cheek and I'm just gonna put it there and not too much and I'm gonna lightly put it here in the upper or the in the corner in my eye so the guy was expecting me to drive him everywhere and we were of course always in my place and he always made a mess and I had to clean after that so that was just a no for me these lights are so hot it's so I'm gonna take the bronzer and then I'm gonna draw a small line around my around my mouth so my lips will look bigger so I guess I had a point in this video but since I slept super poorly it's hard to make sense of anything yes I'm gonna put the powder next this is halo close setting powder and I really like the fact that there is like instructions here I'm not sure if you can see it but it says pour powder here for a halo glow so let's do that powder puff I'm starting from the chin and then go up because that's what I learned to be clear it is fine nowadays to be a more feminine man there is nothing wrong with that then you just have to be willing to do the feminine jobs as well like if I have to maintain the car and do the masculine things then you should contribute on other ways 
it's just nowadays it just doesn't make sense for me to or wouldn't make sense for me to date because I earn money, I can provide for myself and it's just easier to, as I said, clean my own messes and not worry about a grown man's underwear being on the floor. This does give a beautiful finish, I have to say. Like, not cakey at all. I'm gonna use a little bit highlighter. I'm just actually gonna put it on my finger and then tap it on because, oh, that was a good idea. I really do like this highlighter too, it's just, it's not glittery, so that's... That's really important to me because I don't like glittery highlighters. The Probo. And one thing that infuriates me with men is the weaponizing incompetence. As I watch my, well, someone close to me being married, having kids. And one time I was, I was at, at her place. And I need to cheat a little and use this Essence lip liner because I don't have an uh, e.l.f. lip liner. So I was at her place and she had a project of her own. A project that the man could have done too, but she just... It was her project, so he, she decided to do it. The husband was supposed to watch the kids so she could have it done effectively without getting interrupted all the time. But she was interrupted all the time because the husband kept coming and interrupting her and asking like where are the kids clothes and what should I feed them or whatever and and that's just that just annoys me so much because you're their father you are supposed to know where the clothes are and even if you don't you can find them without asking so yeah that annoys me and with my partner I told him very early on that I don't want to buy his family any gifts. Like, I have my own family to worry about, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's do the brows. This is ELF Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. It's good. And he was a little bit taken aback. Like, I don't know if his ex did that, but I just, I explained that I am not gonna do that. Like, I'm not gonna take all the mental load. But, as it turned out, I'm not sure what is it with men and birthdays, but they just don't seem to ever remember. Yes, this year I had to remind of his mother's birthday, also his father's birthday, and I made a little video for my mother-in-law. The thing is, how they get you to do that, is because my partner's parents live pretty close, so they help us with the baby and they buy stuff for the baby so it just feels so ungrateful for me if I don't celebrate her when she has a birthday and then I cannot trust my partner to do it so yeah and that's so annoying like that's so annoying I hate that but I just I'm gonna draw a line that I'm not gonna buy anything for them because as I said to my partner if I'm gonna buy gift for his parents, he's gonna do it for mine, and then he dropped the subject altogether. So that's uh, it for you ladies. If you have that same situation, just do that. I just colored my eyebrows yesterday, so I don't need a lot. I'm just doing some strokes to fill the gaps. I think it's looking okay. I also feel a little bit weirded out about the fact that men today are not... Not all men, okay? Some men are not very masculine, but they still kind of want to be, so... And what it comes down to is the provider stuff. I just heard a story about a person's ex-husband that didn't make enough money to provide for them, and the woman was in school, but also working as much as she could, to, like, to earn money for the household. But... The husband, for some reason, always made it out to be like he was the provider and she didn't bring anything to the table because she was studying. So that's why they didn't have money and he was doing all the expenses of the household. And that just simply wasn't true because the wife was actually putting more money to the household because the man just, when he got his salary, he just spent it right away to 
some tools or whatever. So that's just, it's so weird for me. Like, why is it a masculine thing for you to be the provider and then you're not even the provider? Like, my partner does joke about it sometimes, like, that he is the provider. And that's, again, is not true. Because I spend equal amount of money on the household as he does. So we had a conversation about that and I just, I asked him to stop because it's not funny or... Does my eyebrows match? I can never tell. I think it's close enough. So yes, I will not have that. Like, not the slightest, because I just, I feel it's, it's really disrespectful to do that. And then to talk to your friends and family like you are the provider. And he sometimes tells me that I'm the, like, I'm not a trad wife, because I am on my maternity leave and taking care of the baby. And then, of course, I'm cleaning the house because I'm here when I have the time and I'm not filming. But yes, I'm going to use the mascara. No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to put the... No, yes, this one. So I'm gonna set the face with this one. So quite honestly, I I feel like I would be just, just fine being alone. And I'm gonna use this to my lips. This is Pout Cloud Lip Plumping Pen. I love this color. This is uh, just peachy. So yes, I just, I realized that if he wants to be the provider, but I'm still providing, then I just figured that I will stop cleaning. I will take care of the baby. That's my main job now, and I get paid for that. I don't get paid to clean his messes. I'm gonna use the Big Mood Elf mascara. This is deep brown. I thought it would be cleaner looking than black one, so let's see. I didn't like the black one. It's like this applicator is so freaking big, it's gonna make a huge mess. But actually, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm just, I'm using a little bit, mm, a little bit of, 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 of. I'm gonna take the color here and then just put it with a fluffy brush, just to add a little dimension to my eye, like so. So I guess my point about that last thing that I was talking about is that if you are not able to provide, don't make it sound like you are. And also, I know men that are actually providers, like they are doing the they are the ones that bring the income and that's not really common here in Finland so they actually never never ever talk about it I'm just gonna put the shimmer a little bit here so I have talked to them and asked about it like do they ever bring up the fact that they are providers to their spouses or anyone else and they say no so if you are truly a provider then I don't think that you really need to shout it out, like, what is the point? I'm actually taking a little bit of this and putting it in the inner corner, like so. And then a tiny bit of the sh same color that I put on my lids. I'm gonna take a small brush and put it here. I'm not gonna do any liner because I don't know how and it's gonna ruin the makeup. So yeah, I think it is an insecurity thing of men, because if they're not masculine enough, they just want something to... Like, if they aren't masculine enough in their opinion, and they want something to, like, prove, then that's the money thing is the only one that I think they can. This is gonna be all over my eyelids, I'm pretty sure, because the, look at the size of this applicator. Why is it so big? I'm not a fan. So I guess that was my weird rant about why I'm not gonna take another man if we break up. I just don't see the point. Other than that, this mascara is okay. It's not the greatest. It's not L'Oreal telescopic lift, but it's it's fine. I'm just gonna clean this up. Just blending a little bit so there is no line. Okay, so what do you think? Are we looking clean? I really hope so. So this is the final makeup look. The hair, I think I'm leaving like this. I think this goes with the clean girl aesthetic. You tell me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share and subscribe so I can stay home with the baby. And if you are interested, I have a video here where I talk about lip products that I would buy again. So hop on that one if you are interested and I will see you in there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.